Okay, for starters, I'm going to connect to my Cisco SDM console. And once I've successfully logged in, my first task is to set up a AAA server group and a AAA server for authentication. So once the ASDM has loaded and refreshed, we need to select Configuration, Remote Access VPN, AAA local users, AAA server groups. And in the top box, select Add and add in a AAA server group. Give it a sensible name that you'll be able to refer to later and accept the defaults on the rest of the page. Click OK. With that selected, in the bottom section, click Add to add a server into that group. It's on my inside network, and I need to supply the IP address of the server that's going to be running Radius Authentication. I'm going to set up a shared secret key. I'm just going to use 123456. I suggest you use something a little bit more secure in your production environment. And click OK. And finally, don't forget to click Apply to send the commands to the firewall. Let's just minimize that. On the server itself, you need to open Server Manager and select the local server. Over on the right hand side, Manage and Add Roles and Features. I'm just going to tick the box to skip that. Next, we are in Role Based and we are installing on this server. Click Next. And we want Network Policy and Access Services. Add in the required features and click Next. Next, next. Network policy server is selected by default, so click next and install. Obviously this takes quite some time, I've sped it up for the purpose of the video. When it's finished it should say installation successful. Simply click close. Now if you select NAP over on that left hand side, you can right click the server itself and select Network Policy Server and it will launch the Network Policy Server Management Console. Right click at the top level and the first thing you do is to register this server in Active Directory. And click OK. Now we need to set up a Radius client that is going to be the firewall so right click Radius Client, New and enter a friendly name for this Radius client. Remember what this is because you're going to need this later on and add in the IP address of the Cisco ASA firewall and finally at the bottom the shared secret that you entered earlier when you created the AAA server remember we're using 123456 and click OK and there's my radius client now before it will work I need to set up a couple of policies the first of which is going to be a connection request policy right click and select new Give it a sensible name, I'm just going to call this one remote-vpn. Next, add in a condition, and that condition is going to be, if you scroll down near the bottom of the list, client friendly name, and click add. And here is where you re-enter the friendly name that you added for the Cisco ASA. Remove my Cisco dash ASA. Next. 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 Change the attribute to username. Click next. Click finish. And finally, we're going to need to set up a network policy. So right click and select new. This can have the same name as your other policy, so I'm just going to call it remote touch VPN again. Next. Now, the condition that I'm going to add in here is the user group that it will be applicable to. So if you click Add Groups, I'm simply going to add in the Domain Users group. You might want to create a new security group just for your VPN users, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to use Domain Users. OK. OK. Next. By default, Access Granted is selected. That's what you want. Click Next. And remember to tick Unencrypted Authentication, PAP and SPAP at the bottom. Next. Accept the warning by clicking No. Otherwise, you'll have to read the help file. Next. Next and finish. That is Radius set up on your Windows server. So to give it a test, if we minimize all the windows and go back to the firewall, still on the AAA page, select Test 
authentication and I'm going to type in my domain username and my domain password to test authentication and hopefully it should come back and say that that was successful. And it was. That's that set up. I can use the server should I so wish for authentication and for VPN access etc. Save the changes at the end with a save running configuration to flash and that's you done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us www.peatnetlife.com